Good morning, folks. Two weeks after Nepal was devastated by a 7.8 magnitude earthquake, another strong magnitude 7 tremor has struck the region. It sent people running into the streets. It is early, so we don't have damage totals, but those will come. The epicenter was just a few dozen kilometers from the initial disaster and was felt as far away as Delhi. We'll get to the space weather and planetary factors for this quake momentarily. But first, looking at the last 24 hours on our star, we had a beautiful filament eruption come off the eastern limb. We know from our discussions with Dr. Uyen that these propagate shockwaves to the side as well as directly ahead, so even though this CME is not coming our way, it did surge high-energy protons to Earth. We did not hit official radiation storm levels, but this rapid rise occurred moments before the Nepal quake this morning. You'll be able to see the flare energy equatorially overshadowed by the polar proton bombardment. We are also in between coronal holes, negative and positive. After the departing coronal hole lost power, we saw earthquakes on the planet drop out. In between holes, we lack that major seismicity, and even though alphan waves and solar wind effects of the next coronal hole are not yet able to affect Earth down on the bottom left, the interplanetary magnetic field influence switched from negative to positive, again, at the same moment as the earthquake struck. Let's keep going. The Earth is entering geocentric opposition of Saturn and Mars. We're also just 10 days from the geocentric solar opposition of Saturn as well a primary geocentric geometry. But there's more. Despite the lack of coronal hole streams to this moment, the blue phi angle to the solar wind is twirling around, changing Earth's current sheet interaction and continuing the magnetic pulsations at Earth. Lots of factors this morning. The solar wind disruption is having more effect on the Earth than it is on our magnetic field. In general, the Earth-facing side of the Sun was calm. No big flares. No big filament snaps or CMEs, just more surface surging and sunspot morphing. X-ray flux is holding in low sea flare range this morning, and the sunspots really aren't helping. Those big ones up north once again have lost mixing potential as bipolarity and gamma classification remains, but interaction is lacking. Just over to the left of that, we have a line of spots that could mix if it grows and spreads. And then... Down south incoming, we should have significant development and mixing potential within 72 hours. Let's update the solar pole flip. The northern field has started coming back down as the south continues chugging away. There is not yet any reason to think the north will go negative again or that the flip is not complete, but this is the stage where we pay attention to confirm or deny. There's also a new Ceres update with amazing views of the bright spots. It turns out that at least the right bright spot is comprised of many smaller spots lumped together in one localized area. Link is for you below. Checking in on the typhoons. We got one ready to start chugging towards Japan where the first typhoon can be found. Very weakened, but still a significant event and set to hit Tokyo in just a few hours. Extreme weather continued in the United States again. Weather Channel website with tons of great videos on it. Today, the low expands and shifts slightly eastward, bringing the convergence to the coastline. The storms tonight will stick mostly to the far east while the cooldown slides in behind it. In Europe, we can see the northern low and convergence where the heat from southern Europe comes up to meet moist air from the Atlantic and draws a cloud line back out to sea, not before draping across multiple metro areas, however. We'll finish up with Australia and New Zealand, where that southern low is once again the top weather alert for the area. Clouds matching quite perfectly. I've got a ground level version of the current conditions and shots of our star to close. Another high factor time period produces a big quake. This came together very quickly. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.